Ohio football still has a lot to play for. If the Bobcats win out in their final three games of the season, they get to nine wins overall in six in Mid-American Conference play, win totals that will bolster their bowl resume. It's week 10 of the season. Week nine certainly stung. The Bobcats are 6-3 and three and 3-2 three and two in the MAC, and they were blown out at Buffalo last Tuesday night, a setback that all but ends their MAC East title hopes. Next Tuesday in Northwest Ohio, they'll see a team that's very similar to UATB. Bowling Green is 6-3 and 4-1. and, four and one. They're a game off the pace in the MAC East race. They're a tough and physical flock of Falcons. After an eight-win season that ended with a close loss to San Jose State in the Congressional Bowl, Bowling Green rolled the momentum along to 2013. The Falcons' wins are over Tulsa, Kent State, Murray State, Akron, UMass, and Miami. The only loss that raises eyebrows was a 42-10 setback at Indiana in Week 3. It's okay to lose in Bloomington, but many thought they could come out of the quarry with a victory. BG went to Starkville and lost 21-20 to Mississippi State. In their rivalry game with Toledo, they spotted the Rockets a 21-0 lead, came back, and lost 28-25. Last Tuesday, they mauled the Red Hawks 45-3. Dave Clawson is in his fifth season as BG's head coach, and the best decision he made this year was making a change at quarterback. In their opener with the Golden Hurricane, Matt Johnson replaced Matt Schills mid-game and didn't look back. Johnson can throw and run. He has over 2,000 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, and four interceptions. He's also run for four TDs. They spread the ball around. Nine players have over 100 yards receiving, and 10 have caught a touchdown. Sean Joplin and Ryan Burbrink are the top two targets, combining for close to 1,000 yards and three TDs. Travis Green is their strong, sturdy, shifty running back. He has 1,000 yards and five touchdowns. Junior linebacker DJ Lynch leads the Falcons in tackles with 58. Six were for loss and two were sacks. Their sack total is a bit low at 16, and surprisingly, they only have two interceptions. They are plus six in turnovers because they forced 12 fumbles and have recovered 10 of them. Overall, they are a stingy D unit, the best total defense in the MAC, allowing 343 yards per game, and they allow the fewest points, 17 per contest. Their tops against the pass, too. BG is the third best BG is the third best total offense and it all adds up to a team that's in the hunt for the East Division title. It's meeting 65 of the all-time series. Ohio lost here at Peden Stadium last year. The Cats had special teams issues up at Doyd Perry two years ago. The Bobcats had a last-second field goal and won and took the MAC East title. It's on ESPN3. Ohio and Ohio State in men's basketball is also on our radio network. OhioBobcats.com will have our broadcast plans for you there. Our football radio network coverage starts at 6.30 with the kick at 7.30. Rob Cornelius and I will have that call for you. That's our preview of week 10 of Bobcat football. It's Ohio and Bowling Green. For Tony Ermain, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.